One of my, a story I came across that tells about the new situation that we're in. Tom Long, he's a really great preacher. I've met him. He's a wonderful guy. I've listened to many of his sermons. His home church is in Atlanta. And his big, large, stately Presbyterian church is right across uh, the, the capital of, 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 is right across from the capital of Atlanta, of Georgia, which is Atlanta. And the church is right across the street from the capital building. There's a large, in that city, there's a large group of homeless people. They would never come into the church, so the church decided to go out to them and to minister to the homeless. And they did, and they got quite a following. But then, one Ash Wednesday, the, the minister who was out there said, y'all got to come into church for Ash Wednesday because we, we, we share uh, our brokenness in Jesus, that he died on a cross for our sins, and we're going to take the ashes from the palms of Palm Sunday that we waved, and we're going to put them on our foreheads. And in fact, I'm going to put a, a, a sign of the cross on your forehead, and you're going to put the sign of the cross on someone else's for it. My God, 60 people showed up in the small chapel on Ash Wednesday. 60 homeless people. But something else also happened. The Capitol was across the street, and one of the members of the state senate also invited, uh, made a, an invitation to the senate to come on over to the church in the little chapel for their little Ash Wednesday service. And so there, crowded in this little chapel, were state senators and homeless people, each making the sign of the cross on each other's forehead and our brokenness in Christ, in God making each of us new. The basis of hope is God. The basis of hope is God. I want to throw something out to you today. There's a difference between wishing and hoping. There's a difference between wishing and hoping. Hope is oriented toward what God is doing. Wishing is oriented toward more kind of like what we want. Eugene Peterson, uh, some theologian, but basically said wishing is like there's a line in our heart and we throw it out with an arrow. That we, I'm like Jane Petrie, right? <laughs> that we, throw it out there with an arrow. We throw our wish out into the future and we hope for the best. But the line comes from us and we want somebody to, to take hold of it. Hoping is different. Hoping is the line comes down from God and there's an arrow on the end of it. And we take hold of the line from God. That is hope. And by the way, in Advent, there are a lot of characters. Again, I mentioned in Sunday school, we're going to study. We're going to study them today about these characters who God set a line down, they grabbed on to them. They held on to them. I got a word from the Lord for you today. If God sends you a line, Grab on to it. It's the best thing you'll ever hold on to in your lives. Each Sunday, you're going to have to help me out. I ask God, what is a symbol for hope? What is a symbol for hope? What can I give everybody today to remind them of hope? And the Lord, like a light bulb, I was going through this all week. And like a light bulb, the Lord said to me, or more like a candle. God said to me, a candle. When we sing our closing hymn today, I'm going to offer anybody who wants just our simple Christmas Eve candle that we light. It's been said it's better to light one candle than to curse the darkness. But whether you actually light the candle or maybe you just look at it or as a reminder, I want you to realize that true hope is a line down from heaven. It's a line down. And also, next week is peace. I'm asking the Lord, what's a nice symbol for peace? That we can remember the peaceable kingdom, the peace that God offers to each of us. 
What's a symbol for joy? What's a symbol for love? I'm on my knees about that. Because I want this Advent to be different. I, would, I pray that this Advent would be about hope, peace, joy, and love. Remember this about hope. It's based on a new relationship. It's based on God's action. And it's based on Him giving us a new situation. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we love you. We give you thanks and praise. Help us to hope. Help us, Lord, to recognize the ropes, the lines that come down from heaven. Help us, Lord, to see our new relationship with you. Help us to make face time with you. Help us to see your new actions and help us to recognize the new situations. And Lord, I love it in your word because your new situations always start with a new relationship with somebody. Before you change situations, you change people and they usher in the new situations which you make. Lord, help us to be a part of what you're doing. Help us to be awake and alive this Advent to your promised coming. In your name we pray. And we thank you for the, the chatter and the noise of children. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. <laughs> we'll sing our closing hymn. If we run out of hymn while we're, uh, while we're passing out the candles, uh, Ken and Nancy are ready. And we've got some uh, some backup songs. Amen. Sharon Grove will assist. Me.